हे गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल द मरीनर्स एसके दिस इज दक्ष कुमार सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डाइविंग इनटू द इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स फॉर फिजिक्स इन द आईएमसीटी एग्जामिनेशन सो एज यू नो गाइस फिजिक्स हैज अ इंपॉर्टेंट वेटेज इन द आईएमसीटी एग्जामिनेशन सो देयर आर सम मस्ट डू टॉपिक्स इन दिस सो लेट्स इन डाइव इनटू दिस मस्ट डू टॉपिक सो स्टार्टिंग विद क्लास 11 आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट विद मोशन इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो इन दिस चैप्टर यू हैव टू डू that basic graphic representation based questions and those uh, numericals basic numericals on those three equations of motion so these are the uh, topics that should be done in this so before this there are units and dimension so i don't prefer studying units and di- dimensions exclusively for imct because in imct most of the units and dimensions that mlt dimensions which are asked are those which are coming in the forthcoming chapters so there is no need to study separately this while you are studying these chapters you can focus on these units and dimensions and memorize them so the next chapter which should be done is work power and energy in this chapter you can read the theory and basic numericals in ncert of work power and energy should be done this is sufficient for imct moving on there is motion in a plane which is projectile motion this has three basic numerical questions that is of projectile motion that is of maximum distance maximum range and maximum height so questions are generally asked when with of projectile motion of these three formulas moving on uniform circular motion this is a vast chapter and it is a bit difficult so you can focus on the theory of this question basic theory question can be expected in the imct from this segment moving on guys very very important chapter and not only for the written imct as well as for interview i can say that which all interviews i faced i got a chapter from this question at least so the chapter is properties of bulk matter which includes mechanical properties of solid mechanical properties of fluid and mechanical properties of gases so you have in mechanical properties of solids that bulk modulus all those young's modulus bulk modulus all those questions just study the basic upar upar se now going on with mechanical properties of fluid pascal's law effect of gravity on fluid pressure these all are the questions that can be expected in the imct examination moving on mechanical properties of uh, liquids pascal's law again and streamline and turbulent flow these questions are also very common in imct examination now again thermal properties of matter effect pascal's law and effect of gravity pascal's law is very important these questions are the questions which are also asked in the interview almost all the interviews will at least face two three questions from this whole th- properties of bulk matter and last topic of class 11 that is oscillation now oscillation basic numericals from the ncert what all variation they can do is the uh, variation of uh, this uh, shm that is when they change the length of the string and weight of the bob variation with this they last questions on this only imct basic questions now coming on to class 12th now starting with the first chapter which was my personal fra- favorite chapter electrostatics and current electricity i will suggest study this chapter fully questions this because this chapter is very easy and very scoring you can get numericals as well as theory based questions from this chapter so please focus on this chapter very scoring very easy to score in this uh, chapter moving on optics ray optics basic questions all those six conditions of mirror and lenses both convex concave study those basic theory theoretical based questions as well as from the mirror formula lens formula magnification what should be for concave mirror convex mirror which are the con- uh, common mirrors which are used on uh, cars rear view mirror shaving mirror which mirror is what used in what uses of the mirrors very important basic theory based questions just have a read on ncert and you will be well enough now moving on from the last chapter from 12th segment which is very important for physics that is modern physics now this is a very theoretical chapter don't dive much deep into it but just go on have a read upar upar se so that if a basic theoretical questions like for example radioactive decay alpha decay beta decay gamma decay such basic questions are asked so you can attempt them 
because if you have a read once and when you face a question in the exam hall and you'll have options you will get the right answer by seeing at the options so i would suggest that have a read once on this modern physics chapter so that's it for this video these were the most important questions now all the good students should they be restricted to these chapters only and not study the other chapters no you should study all the chapters but these chapters are for those students who find physics difficult and these are the must do chapters if you do at least these chapters you will be in a good condition for the physics segment in imct so guys that's it for this video if you guys have any queries pin down in the comment section i'll look into it that is daksh kumar signing off